guys, what is up? My name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and welcome to today's video which is an exciting one for my Canadian folk because Chapters is having a buy three get one free sale which never happens if you are new here on Canadian Chapters is the equivalent to Barnes & Noble in the US and unlike Barnes & Noble I feel like we never have any sales and so I feel like Every Canadian who is a book lover is kind of freaking out over the sale, even though, is it the best sale ever? No, am I still gonna take advantage of it? Absolutely, and so today is a rainy day. I put on a big cozy jumper because it's cold and it feels like fall, and I'm gonna take you guys online book shopping. Now, I have a specific set of books that I think I wanna get, which is kind of a lot, but I, as I said, we're taking advantage of the sale. Some of them are gonna be pre-orders, others are books I've been looking at. Um, some of them I'm taking advantage of the fact that like I'm getting at a discount because I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy them, but I've been wanting to try them. So I'm going to start screen recording and we're gonna go through my list and order some books together. I hope you guys enjoy. Get something to eat, a snack, something to drink, and let's just hop on into the madness that is going to be my book buying. Screen recording is on and we are going to start, as I said, it is a buy three books, get the fourth free. All books, no exceptions, as per what the chapter's website says. So the first books I want to get may surprise my regular viewers. Um, I'm going to get some Brandon Sanderson books. Specifically, I want his like secret projects so I'm going to be buying the first and second book that are out and pre-ordering the third because the third sounds like it's going to be the best one out of them but I'm also very interested in the first and might as well get the second so I know the first one is like Tress of the Emerald Sea yeah I was debating between the UK edition and the like US edition of this I'm gonna go with the US one we're gonna add that one to cart. See, these books are very expensive in Canada, so any deal can very much help. And I'm gonna click on Brandon Sanderson. And the second one is The Frugal's Wizard's Handbook for Surviving Medieval England. It sounds kind of like a funny, sort of witty book. It's gonna be a vibe. Again, we're gonna add this to cart. They are on sale, so the sale is gonna like stack up, which is very nice. And then we're gonna go back to Brandon Sanderson and find the one that isn't published yet, which is Yumi and the Nightmare Painter. It comes out in October. And this one has the special offer of like pre-ordering uh, anticipated books. So you got get 500 extra plum points once that comes to you which I'm very hyped about. So those were the three Brandon Sanderson books I wanted. After referring back to my list I also want the fourth Lower Olympus in the hardcover because again with those books like it's basically getting one free so and they are expensive. So we're gonna go for hardcover. If you haven't heard of the Lower Olympus series, it's basically a Hades and Persephone's in a graphic novel. It was a webtoon comic and it's basically took, taken the entire internet by storm. I read the first volume but was, was waiting to accumulate more to continue on with this series because I feel like some of them are going to end on cliffhangers. So I think having two, three, and four, I'm going to be set until the release of the fifth, which I think is in October as well. I'm gonna hold off on pre-ordering that one because I have other books I want to prioritize over this one. Now, next one. What else is on my list? Yes, one book that I absolutely want to pre-order is What You Are Looking For is in the Library. Again, this one has the Plum Points pre-order. This is a translated work and it is essentially about a library and it says what each visitor to her library is searching for and provide just the book recommendation to help them find it. So it feels kind of like the Midnight Library-esque vibes in a sense of like it's people who are kind of soul searching or considering different options maybe for their life or things they need or 
that sort of thing and the midnight library is a book i think about often i know it is not a fan favorite but i'm obsessed with it so we are going to get that one added it to cart then we're gonna go for a thriller because thriller books are ridiculously expensive and for some reason uh, I don't do books with deckled edges and a lot of thriller paperbacks have deckled edges so I kind of gravitate more towards hardcovers but it's always a gamble because am I gonna want to keep that book anyways we're gonna go for Megan Miranda her newest release is, I think her newest release, yes, is the one I'm interested in, The Only Survivors. And I'm gonna add to cart. This is about like seven survivors and then it's like 10 years later or something. And the survivors like, yeah, on the 10th anniversary, I guess someone goes missing, something like that. That was a horrible synopsis. But I've read this book synopsis a few times. Clearly it doesn't show. But I've been very interested in it. And I think it's the kind of thriller I'm going to really enjoy. So we're going to bite the bullet and get that one as well. So there's two more books I want before I get into the manga. Which will be the remainder of this haul. Because I feel like it's a great opportunity to get some manga. Because it can be expensive. So one of them is very... How do I spell Jesus? Okay, one of them is very surprising, and that is Babel by R.F. Kuang. Um, again, this one is on sale, and so the sale is going to stack up, up like one on top of the other. Babel is, from what I understand, a dark academia book, and ever since I read Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang, which I haven't really talked about on my channel yet, but it is coming in my June wrap-up and a vlog that is also going to be posted a little bit later, I fell in love with R.F. Kuang's writing specifically, and the way that she intertwines more complex um, political and just daily... Um, problematics that we are facing in the world within her fiction books was really compelling to me and so I thought that reading Babel would be a good starting point into her more fantastical books because I don't think the Poppy War trilogy is going to be for me at least not now because I'm not there but I'm not there with my fantasy that's true and not true but I'm not trusting myself that I would read the Poppy War but I think Babel would be a nice fall read and so I'm going to buy it now because I feel like I wouldn't buy it full price but this is going to be worth it so added that to cart I believe let's go back and see my cart yes we did perfect and the last actual book I had on my list is the second Lockwood and Co book Oh boy, typos everywhere. Which is The Whispering Skull. Lockwood and Co. is a middle grade mystery series uh, and is turned into a Netflix adaptation. I have the first book that I got on super heavy discounted sale, but I want to count to you collecting the hardbacks of these because I like the hardbacks so much more than I do the paperbacks and so I thought it was a good opportunity for me to get it while I could get a discount on it and essentially how chapters does it is it basically gives you 25% off every book you buy when you buy four it's like it's like getting one free so that's kind of like how it is calculated uh within The, the 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 hall i i cannot speak clearly so those were all of like the actual books i wanted and now we're going to go into manga because there's a lot of it so the first i want to buy is the first volume of fruit basket because that manga is like a bind up but it's obnoxiously expensive again this one is on sale what is the difference between this and this i don't understand Oh, that's just volume one, and the other one is the... We're going with this one. This is the one I see online. And I know fruit baskets has to do with zodiac signs and people turning into animals. 
I think that's what I've heard. I've heard some mixed things, but I know the general consensus is people enjoy it. I've had people comment on my manga videos that I should read it, and I trust you guys. So we're going to go with that one. I also want to read... Hi... I don't know how to pronounce this manga's name, but we are going to get this first volume, and this is a volleyball team manga, and I am a stan of volleyball, and it looks like a really fun time. I don't know if it's... Yeah, I think it's like straight up volleyball, and it kind of reminds me of Fence in some ways. I don't know. Uh, maybe it has total opposite vibes, but I've been very curious about this, and it looks like something that's very easy to get into, so definitely going to go and get that volume. And then... One I've been wanting to read for absolute ages is A Man and His Cat. Now, I had originally found these discounted on a used bookstore. They were gone by the time I tried to get them, and so it didn't happen because these mangas are like $20 an installment so I'm gonna get the first two volumes of this and this is literally about a man who adopts a cat and I think it's like their life together it sounds very sweet very much up my alley so definitely wanted to snatch those up then we are going to get another graphic novel series I've been graphic novel manga series I've been meaning to try and that is blue flag which kind of reminds me of heartstopper in manga form again these are expensive um and i don't know if it's like a love like there's multiple people in love with each other that's kind of what i understood from this series so we're getting the first two volumes of that as well which i love that for me the last Two things I want to get. One is, what is it called? Let me refer to my list. Blue Lock. And this is a soccer, football, wherever you're from, that's kind of what it is. Manga. And it says it's similar to Squid Game meets World Cup manga. And it is basically soccer players who compete in a series of bizarre challenges sounds fun like a twist on did i already put this in my cart no i don't think i did okay and the last thing we are going to put in our cart is what is it called the way of the house husband volume one which again is on sale and it's going to stack up. Let me go to my cart. Oh my God. So the way of the house husband is a manga about this man who used to like be affiliated in some gang or something. He was a very dangerous man and he puts kind of that side of him aside to go care for I believe his child and he becomes kind of like a house husband but he also has this bad boy reputation and it's kind of a blend of the two. Um, I mistakenly kind of got some of the later mangas in that series and so I obviously wanted to start from the beginning and that is why I'm getting that one. So let me quickly wrap up what we are getting. On the list we have A Tress of the Emerald Sea, The Frugal's Wizard Handbook for Surviving Medieval England, Yumi and the Nightmare Painter, Lower Olympus Volume 4, What You Were Looking For is in The Library, The Only Survivors, Babel, Lockwood & Co, Fruits Basket Volume 1, Haiku, probably pronouncing that wrong, Volume 1, A Man and His Cat Volume 1 and 2, Blue Flag 1 and 2, Blue Lock, and The Household Husband Volume 1. So, I'm gonna stop recording my screen now, and yeah, I know it's a lot. Uh, I have been putting money aside for a sale like this, so I don't even feel bad uh, purchasing 
that many books and again some of them will be pre-orders not that many when you think of it but it's fine i was considering getting some romance books uh but most of the romance i read is indie published and it doesn't really make sense to get it on chapters so i didn't really venture into that i mostly went with, with manga fantasy those kinds of books a little bit of middle grade and i also recently had a like Waterstones haul is going to be coming your way later which basically took care of my middle grade needs so really I went for the things I was kind of missing and looking for and I'm very pleased so I'm going to check out and probably do a haul for those of you who don't like come shopping with me's or who want to see me hold physical books once they get here but for my canadians it, this sale goes on until july 2nd so when this is posted you should still have time to go and get yourself some books stack up pre-orders whatever you want to do and yeah i hope you guys are excited about me purchasing these books and reading these books let me know what i should prioritize and i'll see you very soon with another video bye guys happy reading